good evening and uh, welcome to video number 295 how to create dummy variables in stata ladies and uh, gentlemen uh, in today's video uh, i'll show how can we create a dummy variable out of a continuous uh, variable uh, in today's example uh, i will use some data some hypothetical data the number of observation is uh, 10 and i have three variables uh, my dependent variable is uh, sales revenues which is measured in us dollar millions uh, advertising expenditure denoted by x1 and also measured in us dollar millions and uh, similarly the next variable is x2 which is quality control and uh, it's also measured in uh, millions us dollars so all of the three variables are quantitative in nature but i want to generate a dummy variable which is which will be called uh, quality control dummy that will be equal to one if there is quality control and uh, zero otherwise so let me go to my stata file and uh, bring this file so i'll open my file and uh, here is my file so these are the yt number of years this is a uh, sales revenue and uh, this is a uh, advertising expenditure in millions and this is uh, quality control in million dollars I have already I have also generated some other variables out of these variables and uh, uh, I have uh, converted these variables into billion by multiplying y by 1000 so this is y billion similarly if I multiply x1 variable by 1000 so this will be measured in billion dollars similarly this is also in billion dollars and uh, I have also generated residual for uh, this data so let me browse so here are my uh, years from 1 to 10 these are uh, million dollars of sales revenue and these are million dollars of advertising expenditure and these are million dollars of uh, quality control so the idea is that uh, uh, i would like to uh, convert this quantitative quantitative variable uh, into a dummy variable uh, so stay with me how, how we can do that so let me close this and uh, here uh, i'll uh, create a dummy variable for this uh, but before that let me show the multiple linear regression of uh, sales revenue on uh, advertising expenditure and quality control so the command is rec y and x1 for advertising expenditure and x2 for quality control so uh, this is the ANOVA table uh, this shows a regression sum of square or expand sum of square or model sum of square and these are residual sum of square or unexpanded sum of squares and these are total sum of squares the numbers of the number of observations is uh, 10 and uh, this is a uh, f state value and this is the probability of f value this is r squared this is adjusted r square and this is root mean square error these are the coefficients of uh, advertising expenditure and uh, quality control and uh, this is the intercept value and it means that uh, if x1 and x2 are equal to 0 then on average the total sales revenue of the firm is 17.94 million dollars these are the standard errors these are the t values these are the p values and these p values are um, uh, significant at 5 percent and the coefficient of x1 shows that if advertising expenditure increases by 1 million dollars then sales revenue will increase by 1.87 million dollars uh, similarly if quality control increases by 1.91 uh, if quality control increases by 1 million dollars then sales revenue will increase by 
915 uh, million dollars now in this example both of the variables both of the explanatory variables are quantitative now instead of using quality control as a, a continuous variable uh, let me convert this into a dummy variable in SETA and uh, the question is how can we do that so before I do that let me browse the quality control variable and uh, here is this is the data for quality control so these are these values are million uh, US dollars so let me also summarize this x2 and uh, it says that the total number of observations are uh, is uh, 10 the average value of the quality control is uh, 5 and uh, its standard deviation is 1.88 minimum quality uh, control expenditure are 3 and maximum are 8 now the average is uh, 5 so uh, I would like to convert uh, quality control variable into dummy and that dummy will be equal to 1 if the uh, if the quality control expenditure are more than 5 million dollars 0 if quality control expenditure are less than 5 so there are two different ways of uh, generating dummy uh, for uh, this kind of uh, uh, quantitative variable so first uh, the first method is uh, um, a little bit uh, difficult and then i will use another method to generate so i will write gen gen is the generate command for uh, um, for generating any variable so i call it qc that is quality control dummy equals 0 so uh, it is generated qc dummy it's here let me browse it so all the values for this are 0 so now what i what i will do to make it work now i will replace uh, qc dummy equal 1 if x2 is greater than 5 because we are defining it that uh, the uh, dummy variable for quality control will be equal to 1 if quality control is uh, greater than 5 so now you see uh, this command generated four real changes so let me browse it and uh, now uh, it is zero for uh, those quality control where the value is either equal to or uh, less than 5 and 1 greater than 5 so there are four values uh, where uh, the quality control is uh, greater than 5 so that is how we can generate uh, a dummy uh, variable now i will use another way of generating dummy uh, so first i will drop this drop qc dummy so uh, it has gone from here so i am using another way of uh, generating uh, same dummy variable so i will write generate qc dummy equals and then the if condition uh, x2 greater than 5 so let me see what happens so again the variable has been created and it is here qc dummy is here so let me browse it and again exactly the same dummy variable has been now created by this command so uh, now let me run a regression so one regression is here in which both the variables x1 and x2 are quantitative and y that is sales revenue is the dependent variable so i explained that earlier now i will uh, run another 
regression in which uh, sales revenue will be uh, regressed on x1 but instead this time uh, instead of uh, running a regression of y on x1 and x2 now instead of x2 i will use qc dummy so let me hit enter and uh, here are my results uh, let me see what is the difference between the results here now the ino has uh, been a little bit changed uh, this is model sum of square this is residual sum of square these are total sum of square these are degrees of freedom and uh, number of, of observation is uh, 10 this is f state and this is probability value uh, r squared adjusted r squared and uh, these are the coefficients previously uh, here the coefficient for uh, x was x1 was 1.8 and it's here what 1.87 was the coefficient for x1 and now the coefficient is 2.53 and it means that if there is 1 million increase 1 million dollar increase in uh, advertising expenditure total sales revenue will increase by 2.53 million dollars and uh, since this time we are using quality control dummy so it means if there is quality control if the dummy is equal to 1 then the interceptum uh, increases by 4.26 million dollars so it means that uh, if there is no quality control then on average uh, total revenue is equal to 17.82 million dollars if advertising expenditure were zero but if advertising expenditure were zero and there, there is quality control then the average uh, total sales revenue will increase by 4.26 million dollars that is there will be uh, a vertical shift in the intercept from 7.82 uh, plus 4.26 so this is how we uh, generate dummy uh, variable using uh, stata and uh, how can we use that in uh, regression uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to uh, my channel kindly do so and do, and do not uh, forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get uh, notification about my other videos that I'll uh, upload for you.